Hello! This is Betsy. Welcome to another Point Rider tutorial on horses. Um, and coming up fast is Lauren. Hey everybody. We thought we would today show you guys how to make the timing mechanism um, to set up the stopwatch for the racetrack. So um, I've got a few command blocks in my inventory. These are the only things that you will have to um, give yourself. It's item number 137. Um, and if you've been watching the um, Horse Quest videos, you've seen that uh, we actually had to, s air quotes, send away for them um, because it's not something that you can craft. And in creative, it's not even something that you can um, dial up in the items. So you actually have to, um, you know, hit the command where it says, um, you know, give point rider 137. You really only need one in creative if you're in survival or whatever you actually need the number that you'd need so I'd say five and that's how you would give yourself so now I have six so that's how you do that it's kind of boring for the spectator isn't it um, so what I've got here this gray strip will be the trip wire that will reset um, the scores for the different horses and then I'm just going to run down the track. I went ahead and built this off camera. It's pretty straightforward and you can certainly use any design that you want. This is pretty much copied from the the previous. The timer's not on so that won't do anything but you can certainly write around. Um, so anyway this um, this is set up like the tutorial that I did on the horse racing video before um, and We've, we've marked it out. Every five is a colored wool block. Um, every The white ones mark out every five and the black ones mark out every ten. When we got to fifty, we did the double black. And then at the very end, of course, is the checkered, checkered finish line. So this is a hundred blocks long. Um, from start to finish. So I thought I'd just quickly walk through how you set this up and um, then putting together the um, the timing mechanism. So I wasn't sure how much to put on camera, but I, I actually I dismantled a bunch of it so that I could show you guys how we do this. Um, you know, obviously you can use any block for the trip wire, I think. Um, so basically the way that you set up a trip wire hook is um, the hook on either side. You know, I don't know how you craft a trip wire hook. You'll have to look that one up. I won't give you everything. And then just lay down string all along here and now you can hear it when you um, cross over it. You can hear that ticking sound. Um, that That's the tripwire working. So this will be the this this will be the mechanism that will clear out the times once we've recorded one. And did you find it? Yes, a tripwire hook is an iron ingot in the top center a stick in the very center and a wood plank in the bottom center and that'll give you two tripwire hooks. Cool, okay. I did test this and discovered that you can actually hide the command blocks um, which is kind of not a surprise because they're used for um, lots of adventure maps and kind of behind the scenes stuff. So I'm going to stick that under there and then we're going to program those in a second and I'm going to show you and I will include all of these programmings. I couldn't figure out how to get my um, recording to actually jump out of this and record. I've got a, a notepad document that's got um, captured all of these commands just because they're kind of long to type out. So I will include all of these commands um, in the notes below. Um, and then down at the very end we're going to make um, another set up just exactly like this if you want to go down to the end and set that up. So let's start out with these commands. So this first one here, so once you set the command block in, if you right click on it, now this is going to be what you program the, winner. <laughs> what you program the command block with. So this is the reset one. So I'm going to jump out really quick and copy this from my little note. So let's see, the reset is this. Copy, jump back in here, back to game, right click and paste. So this is going to be the command that will set the scoreboard, reset it for all the players. Um, so say Do you want to toss me a couple of those? Oh, the blocks? Mm -hmm. 
Um, you only need one, don't you? It's only on one end. It's not on both sides. It's only on one down there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just like these. I'm, it's Great. only on one Perfect. side. So now that that one is programmed, I hit done or cancel. Done. I'm going to... Oops. Oh. That's what the problem is. You can't actually right click on it. If I want to put a block here, I have to actually right click right there. Okay. So then this one then is going to be the start of our... So I'm going to jump out really quick and I'm going to go back and the starting line is copy, back to game, right click, paste. This is the starting line command. Done. And we'll put that back and I will set the time to day. And then I will have to go down here though to um, program this one down here that you've just put in. Are you still down here? No. I don't see you. Okay, so then I will jump out of the game really quick and get this last command, which is the finish line command. Basically what these um, commands will do, um, the one at the beginning basically starts the clock um, and then this one then um, stops it. So, I'm sorry if there's an echo in here. I can hear it in my headset. Um, we're having some technical difficulties. Hopefully that's not too annoying. Okay, so now we've got the mechanism set up on the track. So let's make the clock the actual stopwatch itself. Um, Do we I'm want gonna... a little pit to put it in? Oh, no, let's, we'll put it above ground right now. Um, and then, um, you in, can the, hide in it. our game, we'll hide it. Um, let's see, what do I need? I need this, 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 and this. It's pretty. It's a pretty straightforward mechanism, and I'm hoping I can do this from from memory. So basically, oh, this weather. Okay. So we. It takes two command blocks for the stopwatch. So it is that command block there and then redstone set up in that configuration, a repeater going that direction, and then the other <coughs> command block here. And then this will be any block that you can put a, um, you know, redstone to. I'm just gonna use a stone like that. That gets turned on, and then there's a little bit more. This is from Seth Bling, and I will put it on, um, in the notes as well. So that's basically the configuration. Then when we turn it on, I'm going to put a redstone torch right here to, to turn the whole thing on. But let's program these blocks. I'm going to jump out again, get the last command. It's the same one for both of these. And it is right here. Back to game, right click. Oops. Here. There we go. Okay. So it's the same command for both of these, and basically, and you know, I'm not a redstone engineer type person, so I can't explain it exactly, but basically this timing mechanism is set up so that it alternates a command between these two blocks. So every, well, it's not tenth of a second, five tenths of a second, half of a second. Yes, every half of a second, no. Half of a tenth of a second. What's that? A twentieth of a second? Oh, I'm not sure. Anyway, each one of these sends a command that says add a point to the player. And the way that they add up, it actually causes the player's score to reflect seconds. So I'm going to turn it on. Now, you click on this capacitor thing to actually turn it on. If I right click on it again, it shuts that light off. So you actually want to have it on before you set down the redstone torch. And now there's the redstone torch and now it's blinking. So that's the clock. It looks like it's working. Oh, and you can see that Lauren ran over the timer and so it's now recording. The one thing that I couldn't shut off from my test that I did was it's already giving his score on the sidebar, which I'm gonna show you the command how to make it do that because just from where you are right now, it won't show that command on the side there. But we have to do a couple more things. Actually, that's weird. Why was it giving you 
because the objectives aren't set. Hmm. That's weird. That shouldn't have worked. But it is. You can see that it's ticking out by the tenth of a second. How interesting. And then this resets it. So there's a couple of commands that I need to show you and the one of the most important ones is to stop this crazy laundry list from showing right there. So I'm going to get that one next which is this command right here. So we're going to set the command block output to false. Once we do that it will stop now that laundry list of the scores adding up um, so that when he hits that again. But that's weird why the objectives are still showing. It shouldn't be recording your time because the objectives aren't working. Well. So, so I don't get that at all. There should be two more steps that you have to do in order to make this work, which is once we've defined these objectives in here in this command block, we've defined an objective called timing and we've a defined an objective called time. And now we need to tell the system basically that these are things that it should track and I don't know why it's tracking them right now but basically I'm going to jump out of here really quick and get these two and I can show you what it will look like just to add them in the display so that you can see how to do this. So basically you go down here and text again like you're programming and it's scoreboard objectives add we're going to do timing so that's one and it's, for some reason, I thought I had deleted it. It knows that it already exists, obviously, because this is working. And then the other one that you would do is, instead of timing, is just time. So once you add these two in here, and of course it's complaining because I've already got them defined, but once you've got those two in, this stopwatch will start working. It will start recording these times. Oh, and then the last thing, the command, so that that score appears on the side, is a command that says scoreboard objectives set display sidebar and time and once you do that and it's I don't know it'll it says that um, anyway that is all of the commands that you need in order to get this to work so this will reset every time you you can go either way and then once again once I go over this, it's going to start my time. How did you get the horse up in the air? <laughs> oh, you were running along the fence? I was running the fence. Oh, you. Okay, so this is continuing to add my time until I either got down to the end or I'm just going to stop it by jumping over the reset bar. You can put this reset bar wherever you want. Um, you know, and, and certainly, you know, you can make your track as long as you want eat as well. We just thought... We went with 100 because it's a nice round number, and if you want to consistently measure your horse's speed, you can take a look at it, you know, across 100 blocks consistently. If you did it at 70 blocks, you would have a hard time comparing it to, you know, the, you'd have to do the calculations to figure out what your actual speed per block is sort of a thing. Yeah. So. That's true. So, anyway, so how fast is your horse? Let's see it. All right. Let me get uh, wrapped up here. Ready, and here we go. Yay! Thundering down the track. Faster than lightning, it's Secretariat. He's pulling away. 9.2. Amazing. I've... Actually, that was one of the fastest horses. I think I found one that was 8.8, .8, but the rest of them were super slow. So in the next video, I want to talk about um, breaking the horses, testing their times. I also d did um, a test on the donkeys and mules as well, so we can, we can talk about those as well. But I think that'll wrap it up for this video. Great. So you're, um, we're still having some glitches. Um, your character is is jumping all around in kind of a ghosty sort of a way so I don't know where you are but your character mm -hmm. keeps jumping around from where it was to being on the horse all which right. is kind of bizarro so alright well oops thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please do drop us a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already done so and until t next time 
this is Betsy and Lauren signing off. Take care. See you later, guys.